racing up to the middle of August. It feels more like the beginning of June with the temperatures that we've had recently. It has. It has just been really weird. Yeah. A cool stretch for us, and uh, I know a lot of the pools probably haven't been as busy yeah. as you would expect at the beginning of August, heading towards the last or the first day of school, uh, trying to cram those pool days in. But today actually looks like a pretty decent one. It's going to be a little bit warmer than yesterday. Uh, the humidity still won't be too bad. We'll be up to about 83 in Oxford, 82 in Eaton, Dayton, Xenia. Lots of sunshine expected. And our northern counties, a high near 81 in Springfield, Troy, Sydney, up towards Bell Fountain, right at 80 degrees, and it should be near 80 up in Salina and Wapakoneta. Lots of sunshine across our northern counties as well today. Uh, if you don't get to go to the pool and you got to stay home and do some yard work, it looks good for that too. We expect dry weather all day long, and really most of the area will stay dry tomorrow. Tomorrow. Couldn't rule out an isolated shower, but a better chance of showers and storms will be on Friday. And then again, a very low rain chance on Saturday with most of us getting away with a dry day. It's 56. We have calm winds at the moment. Our dew point is way down there at 51 degrees. We still have that potential to see a little fog form over the next couple of hours, uh, but the barometer is sitting really high, 30.2. Here's a check of our current temperatures. Our coolest spot this morning has been Xenia at 50. It's 52 in Springfield, Bell Fountain. 52. If you're heading out early, you may even want to have a light jacket on. In Troy, it's 53 degrees. And a check of Live Doppler 2 HD shows dry conditions throughout all of the Miami Valley. Hard to get any rain when you don't have any clouds. And we are starting off crystal clear across Ohio, back it down into West Virginia, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois. Very little cloud cover thanks to high pressure centered right over the region. And we're expecting to see a lot of sunshine this afternoon. Our UV index is very high up on the scale, even though we're late in the season. It's an eight, and it's not going to take very long for fair skin to burn. Here's a check of future track, which shows really not a cloud in the sky by mid morning. It'll be that way through lunchtime, and then we may see a few fair weather clouds around for the drive home at five, but very nice and bright. Tonight starts off mostly clear. Towards early morning, we'll see a few scattered clouds roll in, but we expect dry weather for your Thursday commute to work. And then we couldn't rule out a pop up shower tomorrow afternoon, but notice how most of the activity is just off to the east and out of the area. Still, that slight chance will be there. Today, we're going to be up to 82, a little warmer than yesterday, but still nice and warm with that low humidity. Overnight, we'll drop to a mild 62 degrees with clear conditions and a very light wind. And tomorrow looks partly sunny, also feeling a little more humid. With a high of 83, there is the slight chance of a pop up shower or storm in the afternoon. A better chance of those scattered showers and storms Friday will still be in the low 80s. And that temperature trend continues through the weekend into next week. The rain chances have dropped a little bit for the weekend now. It just looks like a slight chance Saturday and Sunday.